Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's see if we can reach 99 lives right at the start. I could have did that at the last part, but I didn't really pay much attention to the life counter. Let's see here. Will I do it? Will I do it? Or will I get Bowser? No, I'm gonna reach it! Here it is! I've done it! 99! Yes! Who guessed correctly? I'm not sure, actually, because I don't know what part number this is. <laughs> I'll put up little boxes showing who guessed correctly, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, let's go over to 5-3. Black screen. It's icy. Oh, wait, wait, don't I need... Don't I need a shell suit? Well, a blue shell? I think I do somewhere. You're gonna stop right there, aren't you? Oh, I wanted my combo to con continue. Uh, oh, no, no, don't fall there. I think there's death down there. I wanna make sure I'm safe. I do this sort of thing. No blind jumping. There we go, okay. I could have landed off on the left side there, I guess of that hole and then just made the jump or just did a really long jump across there. Uh, yeah, there's a vine here, kind of obvious since there is something uh, clearly up here I should say in the, um, in the layout. Hmm, just gonna skim our way through here, just, there we go. And now we'll kick here, there we go. I think I missed a coin, yes I did. It's here, but I need to go this way first. By the way, these are snail <laughs> snail acorns. Yes, snail acorns. Like a combination between snail and unicorn. It's a pun name. <laughs> and yeah, you need to be big to get this one. So uh, they remind me a lot of uh, bullies from Super Mario 64, except that they hurt you and they bump into you on the sides. They're really that thing was really in my way. <laughs> I just didn't know what to do. I, I mean, I guess I could have respawned it, you know, to get its position a little better. I'm gonna save this shell for you, because, yeah, you're more in the way than the other one is, but I guess I didn't really need it. And there we go. Yeah, this one isn't the one that I thought um, has a secret exit with a shell. It's in a later level, but yeah, I don't think this one has a secret exit at all. Yeah, there's. I'm at a dead end here. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's three pathways to go. I mean, you know, you can go through this and pop up here, but yeah, that doesn't help at all. <laughs> um, ghost house! And I'm pretty sure you know there's a secret exit in here. <laughs> and here we have the introduction to these boxing boos known as bruisers. And you can just squish them like that. <laughs> They actually are more of a help than anything. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot you were on the map. It... No, I don't want that. Well, actually, wait, maybe I do need that. Uh, yeah, I do need that, actually. So it's kind of good that I got this. I'm gonna try and keep it. Because there is a real, rather tricky thingamabob to reach if you don't have the... Actually, I don't think it's possible to reach its secret eggs without this, come to think of it. So I'm gonna just kind of carefully go through this level twice. Yeah, I know there's a star coin there, but I'm going through this level twice anyway, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, I'm just gonna get those on my way back through here. I don't want to take any unnecessary risks as Mini Mario here, for obvious reasons. Uh, there's a secret above there, and yeah, just keep that in mind. Just do it, just do it. Just go get it. <laughs> Oh, uh, actually, wait, maybe that's the thing that I'm supposed to... Oh, no, wait, 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 that's, that's different. I think. I... Hmm. Hmm. I forgot where the secret exit was, actually. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong house. Anyway, I, I think it might be here, actually. What you do is go up here, and if you are big, you won't be able to hit this block here, so... Uh, well, you can, but you have to duck when you attempt to hit that block. Yeah, I'm gonna take this route. I think this is where the secret exit is. Could be... Um, I don't know. <laughs> Keep... Mm. And, and you guys are gonna be a pain, aren't you? 
So I'm gonna have to deal with you with super floaty jumps and oh, that's not friendly. You know what? I'm gonna do this because <laughs> the secret exit or secret coin, I should say, is off to the right side here anyway. So I don't need that elevator because I'm Mini Mario. <laughs> But I do have to still, to still be careful because I'm very vulnerable. I'm like the delicate, the most delicate of flowers at the moment. <laughs> uh, wait, was this a secret exit? I don't, don't rem. Mm -hmm. I think it was a secret exit. I think keyword think. But I thought I needed to be mini for something. Maybe for this. <laughs> Me, like you get super heights off the springboard, and yeah. Woo. Okay, well, there's a secret exit. Now I'm gonna do the normal exit just as carefully because I, I still think I need to be Mini Mario for something here. I, I don't know. It's just something, something in my memory banks is telling me so. I'm gonna ignore the power up boxes. I'm sure there's goodies down there if you led the. A bruiser down there, but mm, I don't need them. At least not now. Um, hopefully, I won't die. That would be tragic. Although probably entertaining for you. Come on, come on, go! No, not not up there. You're supposed to fall. Jeez. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. I need him. Where are you? Hey, come on, this way. This way. Break it. Break it, good boy. Come on, come on. Yes. And I'm gonna try and despawn it, I guess. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that. No, I don't get I don't get to uh, go that far over to the right. I think I'm stuck here. Yeah, I can't jump through that poopers. So I gotta avoid angry or anger management there. All right, so there's the first coin and. You normally you'd have to jump up there using the bruiser, but as you can tell, since I'm Mini Mario, I have an alternate method. I don't like that part. <laughs> okay, you guys, you gotta, you gotta kind of, you know, fall. That would be nice. Thank you. I, I was a little frightened of you. <laughs> All right, so everything is complete aside from the regular exit. So I've still got to be careful. <laughs> Uh, actually, give me a power up. Thank you. Now go down there. Good boy. Wait, wait, holy poopers! <laughs> yes, Mini saved the day. Because I don't think I would have been able to fit through there as uh, uh, even small Mario. No, 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 Bad, bad boy. Well, how did I do? I just jumped through the stairs. I've never done that before. <laughs> no, don't do it again. Just want to stay partially in the air because I'm afraid of the bruisers a little bit. Even though they're not that dangerous, they're still, still a factor. Anyway, we got another one of these elevators. Yep. This is not the secret route. This is because, you know, I had to go through the door um, at the left side. Any worry, come on, do your shaky shaky. There we go. It's not that hard to stay on or anything like that, it's just when you're mini, it's a lot more troubling. Uh, especially when there's enemies on it. Oh yeah! Got all. Hey, come over here. Come on. Come on, come on, little fluffy thing. Go, oh, there you go. Oh, hoo -hoo. I'm just gonna leave out here if you don't mind. Okay, okay. And I'm gonna end, get this regular exits, hopefully. And get a one up is. Mm, I didn't. <laughs> well, in any case, that level is clear. And I've still got my shiny 99 lives there. Um, I think I'm gonna go take this route now. If I could save my game. And come on, come on, come on. There we go, good boy. And play 5 B right here, right now. What's in store for us here? Ice, of course. Who would have guessed? 
Goombas, of course. Who would have guessed? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I don't like you. You might bump me right off in the hole. That's that's the real danger, really, is the um, um, getting bumped into a hole rather than uh, uh, taking hits from them. I want to get up there, but everything... <laughs> everything's in my way. Because there's... I could have got up, gotten up here on that side. Oh, poopers. I overcomplicated things. Yeah! And now I'm, now I'm sucking like no one's ever sucked before. Oh, don't, don't go up there! <laughs> I was expecting it to go underneath the block. Based off of its jumping pattern, but no, no. I just hop, skipped, and jumped right on top of the block. And <laughs> Anyway, power's up. Power up's right up to start anyway. Alright, let's be more careful this time. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, in fact, I think I could do this and casually go through here. Yeah, I thought so. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait a second. I think I want to actually be small because it's easier to get this coin that way than to get it from this side, believe it or not. Because of the slippery, slippery floor. Come on, guys. Get moving. Go in that hole. Good boys. Oh no, don't don't slip. No, that, that's not. <laughs> that one-up's kind of useless to me at this point. <laughs> and again, one-ups have been useless to me since I had like. Okay, since the beginning of the game. I was gonna say since I had like 40 lives, but no, no, I didn't even need <laughs> that much that early in the game. So yeah. I mean, maybe I do. I mean, maybe I will later in the game, but oops. But not now, oh no. This is easy peasy for the most part. I'm just kind of flubbing a lot for some reason. <laughs> mm, there we go. You see, it's not that difficult. Now, what was in here? Coin, right? Yeah. I was hoping for a power up, but alas. No! And I was right at the midpoint, too. That is a total shame. <laughs> um. No, <laughs> oh, I don't like this part. Cause this is this is danger town. Cause you've got you got to get to that coin before this P switch runs out. Yes. Oh, safe. So not that safe. Oh, I should have stayed in that hole. I was safe in the hole. Uh, but anyway, you're looking for a secret exit too in this level, but you need a shell suit for it. And I need a shell for that coin, don't I? Or do I? Um, I don't know if there's a safe platform down there, actually. Oh, there is. I'm just gonna, you know, bump you in this hole. You might mind that, but you don't have much of a choice in the matter. <laughs> uh, I don't like this Koopa. I'm gonna do this. Oh, um, the secret exit is up here. Need a shell. Yep, that's why you need the shell. So I'm gonna have to come back for that a little bit later. For now, I'm gonna slide and jump. Oh, I think the slide actually hindered me there. Come to think of it, like I don't, I don't, I think the slide. I mean, I would have gotten more speed if I would have ran than if I would have uh, slid. So I think that um, that ramp there at the end was. Uh, distraction or a uh, a trap more than anything. Anyway, I need a shell, and I'm gonna get that shell. Um, a neat thing that you could do if you are uh, lacking in mushroom houses is to, uh, whenever you save your game like that to go to one, is that if you fail to get a mushroom house, you can um, quit the game, you know, turn off the game, turn it back on, and then re-enter the mushroom house, and you'll be able to have another shot. At getting the item that you want. Shell, shell, shell! Reset! <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just gonna, you know, do a little bit here. <laughs> just, just saves time, let's just be honest here. <laughs> look at that, look at that, I got another chance at this. And you definitely want a shell in your reserve items because it's pretty hard to use. I should say, pretty hard to have the shell 
um, as your power at the moment in time while you're trying to traverse to that spot because it's way at the end of the level and it's a lot of stuff that you can easily take hits on. Got it, got it, got it, and got it. Goodbye, Toadsworth, and thank you. <laughs> but yeah, you can do that on the um, original system as well. You don't have to use an emulator or something like I just did there. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to save my shell. <laughs> oh yeah, how do you like those apples? Uh-huh. <laughs> so now if I should lose that shell for some reason, I don't know, don't know how I will lose that shell. I'll be able to turn off the game, turn it back on, and there we go. I got my shell back. Uh, some may consider that sort of thing cheating, but um, when it gets to the point of you have to like grind for stuff to have the same result, you know, it's just a waste of time more than anything. <laughs> so yeah, it's play games to have fun. Don't don't play games to punish yourself. <laughs> And I'll take that. Not gonna need it really, because most of this level is a gentle romp through it. But and the real dangers are the shell. I mean, uh, snailicorns. Why did I say shellicorns? Guess I had shells on the mine, and they are fireproof. So yeah. E. Mm -hmm. oh, no 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 mm -hmm. no no no. Yes yes and switch. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Too bad that my uh, fire flower doesn't go on the uh, uh, touch screen when I use that, but yeah, oh well. Not a really a big deal. So now we're over here. Let's break that. Let's get a one up! Yeah! Woo! And another successful level completion. Um, I think I'll do one more level. Um, that pipe leads over to the castle, I think. If I press the R L or R button, you can check where, I mean, check the map. Yeah, you can scroll. Hear that? Yep. So that's where the pipe leads to, so I don't have to show you that. And press the B button to go back. Anyway, 5-C. No secret exits to be found here, so it should be a rather casual uh, run-through level, I guess you could say. For the most part. We have Buzzy Beetles. Nothing is simple. Uh, you gotta go. Uh, but I need to save one of them. I think it's actually this one. Yeah. So don't kill this bruiser. Just let him go. I'll oh, fine. Do that if you want to. You'll respawn anyway when I get off screen. And oh, of course there's one there. Why wouldn't there be one there? <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, okay, the reason why you gotta do this is because, come on, come on, come on, break through it all, all of it, all of it, all of it, good boy, now, the reason, yeah, that's why, you can't ground pound it from the top, you gotta hit it from the bottom, I'm just gonna do this, <laughs> I'm sorry for causing a little bit of a brain hemorrhage there, but just how things go, I suppose, oh, that didn't go well. Wait, wait, wait! I need a safe spot so I can take my hand off the controller and use that. There we go. Still. Fireproof. Even turned upside down. Yeah, the buzzy beetles when they're on the ceiling like that, they like to ambush you. It's not all that difficult of a trap to avoid, but it's something to look out for. Uh, anything? Ooh! I need to go down there. Oh! Uh-oh. I needed that. I really needed that. <laughs> uh, and I, I know I lost up. Oh, one up up there. But I still need a shell. Oh no. Everything's gone to poop. Uh, well, I'll be able to get this. Break this. I break all these above these four blocks. I forgot which one it is. It's that one. Yeah, if you don't break those, the vine won't be able to go off screen. You won't be able to reach this secret area. Hopefully going in the secret area here will respawn the buzzy beetle under there when I need where I needed to uh, get the ow to get the second coin. This is the third coin right here. So hit this and go 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 to the left. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, oh, oh. This way. This way. Man, this way. Yes. 
Yes, if I wouldn't have done that in time, he wouldn't have, uh, he would have gotten trapped over here, and he wouldn't be able to make it to the coin. This unfortunately leads to the end of the stage. Why I say unfortunately is because you miss out on a really interesting segment that makes this level really unique. So I'm glad that I'm playing through this level twice, actually. So, there we go. That isn't a... Uh, secret exit path or anything like that. It, it Both paths lead to the same flagpole, basically. And I, I'm saying basically a lot lately, aren't I? <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so that leads over there. And now we go back in. Uh, what's inside the box? Can you guess what's, in, what's inside the box? Uh, we're not going to see until we go inside, aren't we? Aren't we? Huh. Usually they hang outside, like uh, right at the beginning of a level, but there? No, no, not that. No! <sighs> That's actually worse than anything I could have gotten. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> at least at this point. I mean, tiny mushrooms are good and all, um, but I'm just not comfortable using them, is, is the thing, because they're super, super floaty. And if I, if I got used to the super, super floatiness of them, I would be a lot better with them. But uh, otherwise, it's, it's kind of risky, and yeah. Anyway, I'm just gonna... Oh, poopers. Gonna go through the level right down here and try and... Oh, I was gonna say try and get it to do its thing so I can hit it. There we go. And I'll throw it at full speed and you'll get the coin. Now, we're coming up to the spot where... Uh, the level gets really, really interesting here. It's just after the midpoint, and you hit. There's a switch that you gotta hit down here, and it starts a little red block segment. You don't have to race after these blocks or anything like that. Uh, so I actually recommend that you do um, let the blocks get ahead of you, so that you know what you're jumping to as you go to it. But here is the, I guess you could say, main gimmick of the level is you've got bruisers above your head there, and they're going to break their way through the blocks. They're also going to break through your blocks, and you know, down is death. <laughs> so it would be wise to try and stay ahead of them or stay away from them. But if you're um, trying to keep up with the blocks or just at the piecing of the blocks, you're going to have a much harder time with that. But uh, yeah, I, th I think there's there might be something else like up there where the bruisers were, like maybe a one-up or something, but it's not necessary to complete the level or anything like that. But speaking of level completions, this one is now 100%ed. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Wait, is there a save point somewhere around here? Ah, ah, ha ha ha.